Here we have a new old stock, and by that I mean this is true new old stock, battery powered Space Rocket Solar X from Numora Industrial Toy Company Limited, based out of Japan. I'm not certain for the exact year, but based on a little research I did, this is from the early to mid 1970s. As you can see, it's in its original box, has the four staples holding the lid. There is a small tear here. A little bit here. There are the directions right there on the side of the box showing you the features and how to install the two size D batteries, which are not included. Here's the other end panel. You can see there was something there, but don't know what it was. I bought this from a friend of mine who had a full case of them in a master carton. This is how I know this is true new old stock. And you can see the bottom of the box is in pretty good shape. There's a little tear here, a little tear there. But anyways, the inside of it is absolutely meticulous. It's perfect, and it is in fully operational condition. You can see you have all of the original protective inserts to include the little rubber damper on the top of the rocket. Let's pull this out slowly. These are all the original inserts. This particular one did tear, and I put a small piece of tape on it just to hold it together. And this is oh, protects the rockets. You can see there are a lot of inserts. This one comes off, and there's your rubber protection for the modular, the top nose. One one popped open. And sometimes you don't say close, they open and close, but it it's works functional, it works perfectly. This is stored, so you can to expect that. But you can see all the fins in the back are original, they're still attached. The bottom of it is a beautiful shape. I mean, this is true new old stock. It's beautiful. And to further get that point across, when you look at the battery contacts, this is original copper, untouched. And even on the inside, they are shiny. They are beautiful. It's, this is a, you, you can't find better, period, at any price at any time. But anyways, it takes two size D batteries. Let's install them the way they ask. Put one on that way. And the one on the opposite way. I will tell you that this is one of the hardest models I've had to close it. Because there's a little lid here, which has to actually go inside here. So when you close it, it has to be perfectly aligned or it will not lock. And you can see this is a really old style lock. So give me a second, see if I can get this thing in there. Oh, there it is, oh, it locked out. Okay, that's in there. Yep. Now both of them's popped up. Okay, well this is it now, it's 100% ready to go. And the front wheel does pivot. 15, I guess we can call that 25%. Because that's your straight. And there's your little angle there. Anyways, I'm going to put it on the ground behind me. Here's the on-off switch. It works perfectly. These are the rods. I'm going to have it do small circles. Not really small. So you can get a good gist as to how this runs. I'm going to put this on the ground over here. And we'll let it run. You see the front light does work as well as the engine light. But there you go. It's doing this thing. It's circles. It's going to stop any second. The wings will attract and the rocket will go up. There's the wings. You can see the rocket is in this off position now. It's the size of the drone right there. Then it will start coming down and it will, the wings will pop out and it will take off again. And there it is, 100% operational, new water, solar X rocket, new old stock in the box, it's all the original inserts, not a day dent or a speck of rock down. All the lights work and all the functions work as listed on the box. And we'll go ahead and lift up one more time. Make sure the wings go in. And now it's basically ready for lift off. Of course, it doesn't lift off. So we'll go back down, the wind will kick out, and also we'll do it one more time.
And there you have it. And thank you for your time and consideration.